Hey, Sunday Schoolers. Good morning. I just wanted to check in with you for your mid-month check. Uh, we had an awesome, awesome word uh, for our last Sunday School that was brought to you by Dominique Lewis. And I'm so happy that he was able to bring forth that fire of a word. So let's pray and then we will just recap briefly and we'll move forward into our coming week. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you for giving us the full activity of our limbs. Thank you for giving us our life, health, and strength. Thank you more so that we have desire and we have vision, God, that you have given us vision in this time and in this season, and that you're going to manifest those visions through our actions and through our consistency. So thank you for everything you've done and everything you're going to do in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so... I was just wanting to come by and give you a brief recap because I believe that the um, word that Dominique had deposited for our July Sunday school was thorough. It was great and it was compact. So we got a lot of good juicy word. And if you follow us on um, Instagram, you'll know that most of our uh, follow up, our key points, different ways as guides to help you to studying the word and to applying the word are found in our little nuggets that are on our Instagram page or on our Facebook. So if you follow underscore Coffee with Christ on Instagram or Coffee with Christ Ministries on Facebook, then you'll get those nuggets along the way. So one thing that Dominique was speaking about was push, pray until something happens. And the underlying theme in that message was consistency. So after I had experienced um, the Sunday school for July myself, I was thinking to the Lord, what do we do to be consistent? How do we be consistent if we're already in a routine of things and we're trying to break the monotony so that we can learn new things or we're trying to attain new goals? How do we remain consistent in attaining the things that we want to achieve? And there were just a few things, um, one nugget before um, our actual Sunday school and a plethora of nuggets after, but I'm going to share three with you now. I know that our base scripture with Dominique was Mark 11 and 24. And if we go to, first he read Mark 11, 24, we'll go to that first. And while I get that, Mark 11 and 24, it says, I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. So in that scripture, what, um, what we're doing is we're planting a seed of belief that we're going to water along the way and it's gonna bring forth the manifestation. Catch my drift? So then um, he also referenced Matthew 7 and 7. And Matthew 7 and 7 states, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. So there's some action that goes into place with the PUSH acronym, pray until something happens. You're, you're moving, you're consistent in the things that you're doing as of now. You're, tr you're um, trying new things as they're moved into your pathway and that you have prayed on and been led by um, within the Holy Spirit. And you're moving in a consistent pattern on your pathway to your next success. So, one some of the things that we were posting on our instagram i i remember there was a post um that simply said did you make your bed today so there was a story and a time when i was helping at a homeless shelter and a guy had approached me as he was because i was serving breakfast and he had approached me with his tray to get breakfast and 
we just started a casual conversation and in the midst of the conversation he was just saying and he was saying it so happily like i got to make my bed this morning i got to make my bed this morning i was like oh good and i'm just kind of like okay why is he so happy to make his bed but little did i know he was going to share with me so he used to um have a house and and in that time frame he was asking God and he kept asking God for new things. Oh, I can't wait till I become partner, till I make partner. I can't wait until this happens. I can't wait till that happens. But he never made his bed. And 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 time had um, transpired and life happened. And unfortunately, he experiences a season of homelessness. Well, back during the time when I was helping, I, I know that he's in better situations now just because of his faith and because of his consistency. But leading to that, he was just, um, he mentioned specifically that he never made his bed. He asked God for all these things, but he never made his bed. So, when he didn't make his bed, he felt like he was not stewarding the things that God had already given him. And so that's why the the post, the first post that we come across and the first point that we come across is in your consistency journey, are you stewarding the things that you already have? Are you consistently making your bed? And from that, we gain Philippians 4 through 6 which um which says don't worry about anything instead pray about everything tell god what you need and thank him for all he has done then you will experience god's peace which exceeds anything we can understand his peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in christ jesus that's philippians 4 6 through 7. So if you're taking notes, those are our scriptures that we want to base our push on, our consistency. We want to not worry and steward over the things that we have as of right now. Then as time went along, we had Sunday school in July and I was like, okay, this is confirmation that you're moving in the right direction. You just have to be consistent and steward over the things that God has given you. How else can I be consistent in your journey of consistency, you also have to be careful of the things you allow into your space during this time. So that leads us to the scripture, guard your heart. And that is coming from Proverbs 23, Pro Proverbs verse, I mean, chapter four, verse 23, I'm sorry, Proverbs 4, 23. And so um, in guarding your heart, you want to be intent about who and what you allow in this very precious time. Because it's almost as if you're opening or attaching yourself to a journey. And in that journey, you get some bumps and bruises. And if you ever know, you get a scab. If you peel that scab off, there's open skin and wound there. There's a lot of things that need to be cleaned out before it's bandaged up. You don't want to keep taking the bandage off and exposing that wound. Um, but you want to give it time to then uh, first be exposed and healed. So you want to give it time to heal. And in order to do that, you can't allow certain foreign things in that space in that time. So you're starting a journey. You're starting um, a new avenue towards education. You're starting a new avenue towards a career path. You may be stepping out on a journey and um, trying new things in this time frame that we're in this um Capac limited capacity. You may be trying out new things and listening to new um, new information coming in just so that when you get back up and running or when you're out and reintroduced to the world that you're able to make a push start towards your goal. In that time frame where you are trying these new things, you have to know which things to allow and which things to just let pass by because you're on a journey of consistency. So finally, um, we were just moving along this journey of consistency and I'm like, okay, God, I know to steward the things that I have and I know to guard my heart from um, certain new things, but allowing other things that you have provided to come in and kind of heal me and stir me up a little bit so I can be better for this um, success that is coming my way. 
surely come in my way. And so God's like, what is for you will be for you in that time frame. I want you to look at the time that you're in. And that leads us to our last um, bit of encouragement, which says, just smell the roses and where you're at now. I know um, with a pandemic coming on, some um, parts of the country are fully out of it, some are transitioning out of it, and some are still on lockdown. There are other countries in the world, across the world, that have already gone back to full, fu fully functioning, and some people are transitioning in. But either way, we are transitioning into a new form of life, a new way, a new pathway of life on the same journey that we're on. And as we're on this journey and we're attaining successes and we're learning from failures, we have to be consistent in smelling our roses. And that means just smelling what's ahead of you, smelling what's in your um, in your immediate present. So knowing that, um, any other time you wouldn't have been able to um, go to a Zoom meeting or you wouldn't have been able to um, try out that new route on your walk. You may not have had time to um, really actually literally smell the roses or have a cup of tea or maybe you're trying new things. Maybe you're putting yourself out there in new ways where God is stretching you and he's um, moving you into different avenues. They're all gonna lead up to this consistency that you're um, trying to attain. So in that instance, just learn to bask a little bit in the time that you're in, in the current time that you're in. So that was our mid-month check. I hope you are having a great, wonderful Sunday. We will be um, reconvening on the third Sunday of August where we will be doing a character study. And in that character study, um, we're going to really dissect like the characteristic of one character of the Bible. So I hope that you will join me. I believe that that time frame, let me go ahead and look into a calendar because I want to make sure we have the exact date that we need. So we are going to be meeting on August the 16th, which is Sunday, August 16th. So I can't wait to meet back with you guys for Sunday school. We'll be doing a totally different topic. Please make sure that you reference our scriptures for the day, Matthew 7, 7, Mark eleven twenty four, 24, Philippians 4, 6 through 7, Proverbs 4, 23. And then um, I have a bonus scripture here, but that's just because it was raining in my heart in the last 48 hours. I didn't know that mind your own business was in the Bible. It actually is. It's 1 Thessalonians 4.11. It says to live a peaceful life and mind your business. So you want to tend to your own business, especially when you're being consistent. You want to tend to your business. So that's just a little nugget. But <laughs> I hope you guys have a great and wonderful Sunday. And uh, we'll see you on the 16th of August.